OK, I'm going to move on to the uh, first part of the actual valve body now. This two, it's a two-piece body which will be soldered together, silver soldered that is. Uh, this is my valve, my prototype. And I'll just pull this apart, that's where it'll be soldered. And I've got to make six of these now because I'm making, making a batch of these valves while I'm set up. And uh, it's a quarter, sorry, it's 5 sixteenths by 40 thread on this end. And there's a counter bore, it's a 532 hole through. With a counter bore, three sixteenths. That's for three sixteenths copper pipe to fit in, uh, and then a, a sixty degree cone put on the front for the olive to fasten to. Then I've got to put it in my milling machine and mill this hexagon on, which is three eighth AF, and then it'll go back in lathe then just to finish this end off. For where it, for where the part fits into the other part of the valve, like so, and I'll just screw that into a fixture in my lathe, so I can just screw them all in and then do this end. So I'll continue with this then. Right, I'm moving on to the next part of the globe valve. It's this sub-assembly here, uh, the other half of the main body. This is my prototype. And uh, it's that piece which I've got to do next. I'll make six of those next. So I'll just do a few clips of me doing it.
update on my valves. I've managed to get all my, my valve bodies made now and the spindles, uh, etc. I've just got the handles to do, the knobs, and the uh, locking nut for the top. Uh, they're ready for silver soldering now, these parts. Um, so there's, there's two components there for the valve body. That'll be silver soldered. Then there's the valve spindle block. Fits into that with a valve that goes onto the seat there and the spindle. And then I've got to make a, a knob for the top and a locking nut next. I just wanted to quickly explain this little gland nut because I didn't actually do any photos or video when I'm doing this. It's this little, it's this little nut on top of the spindle block. There, and it fits. It just slides over the spindle with a th with the thread onto the block, and at the back of it, there's a little tiny O-ring. And I've done it one eighth long. And uh, I've used three sixteenths hexagon brass. I've done it one eighth long. Uh, I've drilled a hole through the centre for the, to accept the spindle, 2.8 diameter, and then I've drilled the tapping size for 3BA with the flat bottom. I actually used a 1 8 end mill, slot mill, to get a flat bottom. So I've tapped it 3BA using a 1 8 end mill, and I've gone 3 30 seconds deep. That allows me uh, a very small bit bit at the back to get an O-ring in. So that's the gland nut there. And it just slides over its spindle and then nips onto spindle block just to seal that spindle of any uh, leaks. Right, so that's that, and then the little dome nut. The little dome nut that's on top of handle here. I've used One eighth hexagonal brass for that. One eighth across flat. In fact, it might be slightly bigger. I think it's five thirty seconds. Yeah, it's five thirty seconds AF. Hexagonal across flats, five thirty second. Um, I've put a six BA uh, tap. Five thirty seconds deep, and I've just put a dome on. That's not critical. What what sort of radius as you use? It's only for show. And I just put a dome on it, 
and I've tapped it as far as I can up to that without it breaking through. 5.30 seconds, 6 BA, and the overall length is 3 sixteenths. And that's the domed locking nut, which I've locked tighted on top of handle, on top of knob. Yeah, just thought I'd quickly ex explain them because I didn't actually do any pictures or videos of me doing that. Okay, uh, a quick update on my miniature glow valves which I've made. Uh, I've, man I've managed to finish them all now and they're all assembled up. I managed to get seven done in the end. I did a batch of six and I had my prototype one. So there's five here and then there's two fitted onto my manifold temporarily on my boiler. There. I'll just take it apart and show you. So that's the valve body, silver soldered together with a seat at the bottom. Then you've got the spindle and the valve silver soldered onto the end. That that screw that's all screwed into the valve spindle block which I'm calling the spindle block and on top of the spindle block there's a gland nut with a little tiny ceiling that runs on that spindle then the knob on the top I'll put that back together Now the knob, I made a batch of knobs uh, and I drilled the, all, all the five holes in a stock piece of material to the depth I needed. Then I've put it back in lathe and then I've recessed, recessed the outside bit, parted it off. Then I made this little jig, split jig, that fits in my three jaw. Then when, the, when I've parted the knob off, I reverse it. I reverse it and put it put it in this jig, like so. Then back into the lathe. Then that split jig clamps the knob. Then I recess the back of the knob to make it identical to top. And then on top of the knob, I've made this six uh, ba domed nut, locking nut, to lock the knob on. So when the valve's closed, the total length is an inch and one eighth up to top of knob. So uh, that's it then, they're all complete now. Put a 50 pence piece there just to show its scale. Right, so uh, I think that's that little part of project finished then and completed now, so um, I've got one or two of the my other, my other fittings in, temporarily fitted into the boiler now. My regulator, my water gauge, uh, sight glass, gate foot sight glass, uh, my blow down valve at bottom, and my clack valves. I could just probably see them there at side. What else have I done? That uh, safety valves on top here. Right, so. Uh, that's it then with this little part. Uh, if you've not seen me do my boiler, I, I did a 12 part series making the, the boiler from scratch. I just bought the copper in and made it all from scratch. Uh, so take a look at that if you're interested. And my other fittings, I've done them on separate videos if you want to take a look at them. So uh, I think that's it for now. Then I'll sign off for now then and uh, I'll catch you on my next uh, 
video. I don't know what I'll be doing next, but wherever I'm doing, I'll do a quick video of it and I'll catch you on my next video. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.